YouTube, I've made a video on shoulder positioning and some shoulder mobility work. Start off with a little bit of warm up. This is a TheraBand, anything elastic will do. Some front pull aparts. So from here we'll do them in a forward plane, we'll do them at a 45 degree plane. I think I'll show a different angle here. We're looking to pull this out into the side, engaging some of the lats there. And finally wrap the band around and mimic a bench press movement. You can vary the tension on this to whatever suits you. Use whatever you have at your disposal. I'm not advocating you guys go out and buy something new for each one of these mobility things. It can get a little tedious. Okay. These are band dislocations. You're going all the way around, back to front. Again, adjust the tension. You'll see me go narrow on this. Now we're really looking for good positioning when it comes to the videos. You can achieve basic positions with arms overhead and your elbows behind your ears. Or if you can't get good shoulder internal rotation, that would be something to look at. Again, Kelly Starr is a great resource when it comes to all of that stuff. Really knows what he's talking about. Okay, we've got the shoulders warm. I'm gonna lie down on the ground. This is an NCAA lacrosse ball. I'm putting it up in the first rib. Keeping that elbow out in front and putting my arm in some external rotation. And driving that hand high above the head and just working through that range of motion. This is not comfortable, but the more you just relax and let it sit in, it feels better over time. You can also accentuate this stretch by getting your hips up off the floor and putting more of your weight into the ball. You want to place that up almost behind trap, high trap area, because um, it really hits a great spot. This is one of the things I noticed the biggest before and after difference. You raise both your arms up above your head, look at yourself in the mirror. Distance between your shoulder and your ear before and after this is extremely, extremely noticeable. Um, so this is going to enable you guys to get some better positioning when you're doing, let's say, shoulder press work, um, any type of Olympic lifts, and just keep you generally healthy for all of your other bodybuilding and powerlifting needs. So I've got my hips up off the floor to get a little bit more weight in, driving in and through that ball. All right, next move. I'm taking the cross ball now and I'm putting it up. You'll see me roll forward kind of underneath the scapula at the back and trapping my arm underneath there to get some stretch through the front of the shoulder. If you guys have a partner, a gym partner, anything like that, have someone step on your shoulder in this because it's really gonna help keep that shoulder down. You'll notice the stretch gets a lot better. Ideally, we want that shoulder touching the ground, which isn't something I'm capable of doing right now. Uh, especially on my left side. This is my right side, which is a little bit better, but I dislocated my left shoulder, so uh, I've been working on this. It's a good idea to come up with a, a list of priorities for you individually, what you need to work on when it comes to mobility. That way you're not just going willy-nilly and doing random things. You've actually got a plan, you've got some structure, the same way you would structure your workouts. Now we start introducing some band stuff. We'll attach a band high first, then we'll go medium, then we'll go low. So this is going to help with overhead position. If you can't get your arms with your elbows behind your ears, simply uh, sitting, then this is something you need to work on. We want to get you guys in full range of motion, and this is limiting for a lot of people. Block off the hand, so the hand is up, your arms in some external rotation. Put this band up high so you can really get some tension on it. And just make sure that palm stays up, or another way of thinking about it is that elbow stays forward, pointed away from you. You guys should feel some lat involvement here, especially if your lats are tight. Here's the same thing from another angle, this time going towards. If I were to lean to my left, you get even more lat involved, and it's a really good way of opening up that region. If you guys want to foam roll out the lats, it does something very similar, keeping that arm straight out. But if you've got tight lats, if you have tight kind of underarm little bits going on there, that will definitely prohibit you. So another variation on this is just to do this standing. Might allow you to get a little bit more stretch. There you go. Alright, 
So we detached the band high, I've switched to the average for this one, hooked it behind the elbow. This one forces a little bit more of that elbow behind the ear that we were just talking about because you can really put some tension on this and you don't have to involve the whole arm segment, just the elbow to shoulder joint. Stay in this for a good two to three minutes or until you start to feel tingly and numb, that's the last thing you want. Okay, band goes lower, attach, elbow all the way behind, try to pin that shoulder back, keep your torso neutral, that means no arch, no contract. You can use uh, Kelly Start's double hand rule um, and just let that band pull your arm back. Tilt your head to the right if you want to get in some of those neck pieces. One more variation on the overhead position, this time with the band here, wrap around, come up. If you guys are having front rack problems or you're having trouble front squatting, it's either an arm segment length or some kind of mobility issue. A lot of times shoulder stuff will solve it. Sometimes it's hands uh, and tight forearms. But the combination of the two really ought to help. Okay, last we see a lot of internal rotation, or, sorry, second to last. A lot of internal rotation problems. This is the big one for me. Barbell is a great way to do it on your own. If you have a partner, a partner can step on your shoulder as you go through the same range of motion. It's awesome and brutal. So have your partner step on uh, your shoulder kind of like a gas pedal. So as you go lower, he steps harder or she. When you come up, he lets up. All right, so you want to take the barbell and pin it on the top of the shoulder there, keeping your elbow out at 90 degrees from here. The lower you go, the more you're going to push on that barbell with your foot. Try to get down lower each time. Obviously, it's going to be different for everyone. Now, if this is too easy, of course, you can just stack some weight on the end of that barbell and weigh that thing down a little bit more. Very easy. Um, this is a good one. All right, finally, uh, if you've got some junky bits in your shoulder or if you're feeling some kind of popping or grinding going on when you're bench pressing, really just take that lacrosse ball up against some flat surface and mash against anything that you find some uh, resistance to. So I've got it on the anterior delt. You can stick it on the outside, you can stick it on the back, but just get something hard, a baseball will work, and just grind through that region. Cross ball is a great investment for you guys. It's about three bucks um, and tons of different variations for what you can do, so I really suggest that. All right, that'll finish it up. Again, two to three minutes per. You can pick and choose what you want. Do it on bench days, on off days. Comment, subscribe, let me know what else you guys want to see. If you have any feedback, anything like that, I'm glad to help. Thank you. Bye.